Welcome, welcome, welcome once again. This is your host, Corpse, and we are going to be continuing the tour of the Asylum server. Last time you guys joined me, we checked out this area over here from Spawn, the portal, the potion shop, hotel, cafe, unknown building, enchanting building. We did our little trip around through here, so we are going to continue off today, and we are going to kick off in a different direction. So, we are going to actually just drop off these right here. These are a couple of little mini farms that Slack's put together up here so we could start taking down farms we had up on this little plateau. And right over there, where we will get to looking at that, the pumpkin farm is. Uh, but yeah, these are basic simple ones, just stand in there, plant. Bone meal comes out of dispensers. You harvest your product. These are actually going to be great because when we move the pig farm that's over there to its permanent place I'm gonna move that over to it so all you have to do is go over there make some carrots you're gonna be able to breed your pigs and then slaughter uh, I'm also going to do the same with the wheat farm I'm going to take it over to the cow barn put it there so once again same thing all you have to do is show up gather some wheat breed your cows and slaughter your cows and you have food those are good things so let's hop on down here. Here, this building right here is the first thing that Ninja built for us all on this server. This was the original four of our, original four of us on this server. This was our house. Uh, this is where we stayed for quite a while. Actually, quite a while until we got the hotel built over there. Or I should say, once again, Ninja built the hotel over there. Now it has been repurposed into Monty the Flying Pig Saloon. <laughs> I don't know why we have Monty the Flying Pigs, plural, but that's all right. Still works. Uh, down in here, we actually have our mycelium mine. I will get to the story on where that came from and how I ended up finding it. Pretty stupid of me, by the way. How I ended up uh, getting way, way, way out in the middle of nowhere. But that has to do with finding horses when 1.6 came out. Over here we have basic cocoa bean farm, and no, it is not automatic, even though you see redstone and pistons and pistons down here. It's not set up to be automatic. This is going to move. This is just a manual farm. It was just something to have. Uh, the water flow is actually a bait move that looks like it does something, but it was set up as somebody decided to set up a prank. I believe it was Nate set up a prank right here that when you stood here and you pulled this, it dropped you down in this big pit. Didn't kill you if there was water at the bottom, but you still had to get out. And that actually goes down into the mines and the mycelium area. Moving along over here, the big tower right here is the pumpkin farm that Slack set up. He is our resident redstone guy. Uh, I am definitely not a redstone guy. I have no problem admitting that. That is the weakest part of my game. I am not afraid to say that either. But he definitely knows his redstone, and he likes doing redstone projects. Uh, great farm here, though. It's a pumpkin farm. The pumpkins will grow. Uh, the pistons are on an automatic timer. So this will just automatically switch back and forth when it's on. The pistons will pop them off. They'll just cruise in the water flow. And bam, there they are. Uh, the sheep farm that Sushi made, we will definitely have to move that. The sheep, and they seem to cause a lot of lag. Uh, and I think it's because all the, they're eating all the time and it's all the block updates with the grass. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But they lag everything out. We'll come right on over here. Well, little glitch. Come right on over here and we'll check out the chicken coop. I am not going to go down in there because I breed chickens down there to slaughter. Uh, but it's chicken coop that Hobo made. Uh, the roof is actually kind of holy right now. We're not sure what happened. We think lightning hit it. Uh, but it looks alright, so we just kind of left it that way. At least that's our thoughts as to what happened to it. I haven't really discussed it with anybody very much, but it was at one point a full roof. Uh, but inside of here, I don't really want to come over here because of all the, all the noise. Uh, we have the little chicken coops here. Drops them down in there, and if I remember correctly, Slack set up the collection system down there for the chests with the hoppers. It is very effective. It actually produces eggs so quick it's ridiculous. 
Uh, absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Uh, nice little 360 x-ray machine we put over there just to kind of make sure we had everything located right in the spawn area. And we did find everything underneath for the most part that was worth finding. Uh, any spawners, any dark areas, because I got a little bit tired of hearing monsters kind of close to the surface making noises. But, you know, this is a vanilla server, but once again, if you can make it like this in-game to me, by all means, go ahead and do it. Uh, it's when you start using mods and cheats and hacking and everything else that it, it, it takes away from vanilla. You know, it's like when they had the uh, sand duplicator, sand gravel duplicator in. They also had a uh, powered rail duplicator they took out in 1.5. Uh, you could make it in-game. So to me, if it's something that they missed in the programming or something they have not corrected yet, you know, that's fine. It's, you know, straight out vanilla. But yeah, mods and things like that. I have nothing against people that use mods, play with mods. That's fine. But it's not vanilla and it's not made to be played on vanilla servers. And we'll just kind of pop over here and we will take a look at the keg. This is a storage room that Hobo built. Uh, his name right now, player name on the server is Metal Tuscadero. That is a story we will get into in a future series as to why his name was hobo and it is something different now but he's been a building machine on here he's got this keg and i love the front side of it uh the water water pouring out the front just like you would pour out of a keg but uh this was going to be any excess or just bulk storage for spawn uh but yeah we have been using it pretty much as fast as we can collect it the wood's going uh, naturally the wood is going i mean we have buildings like this and if you look really at the rest of spawn it's got kind of a, a rustic country type look and feel to it with the wooden designs there's not a whole lot of uh, stone and kind of you know more industrial feel to it over here so it's all organic feel in spawn so that wood didn't last uh, up here I've been storing a bunch of make sure I can get into this bunch of stone bricks I uh, will be building a mob tower with that sometime in the future if I ever decide to start on it there you know just small things there's not a whole lot down here like I said we've been using most of it as we get it because uh, there are actually some builds here and I mean we've all focused pretty much on spawn uh, here's upstairs this was supposed to continue be a continuation I have more storage up here it's not looking like we're really gonna need it uh, I may pop up here eventually and maybe put like a little little meeting type room up here something just to, just to fill this area with something. But this really is going to be enough bulk storage for spawn period. I mean, like like I said, we're using it as quick as we can as quick as we can find it. So let's head over to the farms now. These are the basic large bulk farms. Up over here, once again, Hobo did these. He took these on. He knows that I, I, I do large, large projects like this. So he made these farms big. Uh, this one here is the potato farm. And if I remember correctly, he got this from Suzuma. Exuma. Uh, don't crucify me for pronunciation of the name. But he got the inspiration from him. Uh, that was the third one he built. The first two he built look like this over here. Uh, this is the wheat farm. It yields nine stacks of wheat. Uh, the design's really cool, and I'm pretty sure that was his own design. I'm pretty sure that was his own design, his own inspiration. Uh, yeah, we need to tear this hill down here, too. One of these days, it'll happen. Just too many other, other little things going on. But as you can see, it's got its collection point down there with hoppers. It's a water harvested. Uh, it is a large farm. It does yield a lot of products, so that, that is a good thing. And over here we have a basic carrot farm. Tower is the same design. The look is a little bit different. Uh, if I remember correctly, that's snow in there. Uh, same principle, though. It's all collected in hoppers right down to that chest there. It's a really good farm. Really good yields. Nice and easy. It does take a while to plant. But once you plant it, you really don't have to deal with that kind of food again for quite some time. So moving on from these three towers we are actually going to go over to another farm the barn over there we're gonna go over and check out the cow farm uh, that is a build that Trey did it actually kinda has a barn and look kinda feel to it I'm gonna oh yeah the baddies are still over that way yeah it's kinda funny in this direction there's like this line where the torches stop and if you go past that line at night it gets pretty rough at times because the server is set on hard 
So it can get pretty brutal and pretty rough. But let's hop on over to the cow barn right now and poke our heads in here. Uh, I did the too deep pit because when we made this, we made it in uh, 1.5 where the mobs had a tendency to glitch through the fences. I personally like the pit better anyway. That's just my opinion on that. But yeah, we made it a pit and I really liked kind of the contrast with the red, or not the contrast, but the, the theme with the bricks and, and the red wool. And the red wool naturally representing the barn, but I, I think the bricks fit pretty good in with it. And up here we have our loft. This would be your hay loft if this was actually a real barn. We have like a little observation platform up here. I really think it's cool. You can overlook some features in the world out there. And I think that over there was a creeper explosion, if I recall correctly. And we never fixed it because it looks looks kind of neat. It adds something different to the train right there. It's not just water that ends flat out. Not the same old stuff you see all the time. But uh, this spawn has been great. I mean, we have some plains over in that direction. This was a forest. We have desert over here. We have a jungle. I mean, we have pretty much every biome here, right here by spawn, where we spawned in. In fact, right here in this cow barn is about the original spawn location that myself and Sushi Pork Chop and Metal Tuscadero and Ninja Bunny spawned in at. It is right in this area, somewhere real close can't remember exactly where because we have completely modified everything but it was right in here so I mean we started out where we just had a lot of things there's another jungle over there there's a taiga not far over there there's a swamp over there there's a swamp over in that direction there's a, another desert over there there's extreme hills in that direction there's extreme hills on the other side of the plains and desert over there I mean there's there's everything you need here absolutely everything so it's been a great great spawn. I mean, it was very exciting. The only thing that was terrible about spawn is there was no food at spawn. I had to go about 250 blocks, almost 300 blocks to find food. It was uh, very pleasant. This is donations mainly, sand, sandstone, and stone brick. This is uh, Ben's, Ben's house right here. I will show this a little bit later. He's still got some work to do on it, so I'm, I'm going to hold off on that right now, but that's a personal build. That's not a, a public spawn build. But I'm liking the way that's coming out. This bridge right here, I don't know who did this. Uh, I can honestly say I don't know who did it, but I, I like, for some reason, I really think the cobblestone and the, hi, zombie, cobblestone and the glowstone mix really well for some reason. I just, I don't know why. I, I really enjoy that right there. It's been a nice build. Wow, this zombie is just determined. Yeah, this new zombie AI, man, it is brutal. I am so glad that we started this map on 1.5 and not 1.6. We would have had a nightmare. Because uh, when I got this got this map set up on the server, I wanted to make sure everything was running correctly, everything was running smoothly. Is he still? Yeah, he's still chasing us. I'll be danged. Everything was running smoothly and correctly, and there were no issues. So I got on for about two or three minutes. Uh, I got off. I got everybody on. I'm like, okay, we're ready to go. We get on, and it's nighttime. So we spawned in at nighttime. And it was about as fun as you could get with everything chasing you down and trying to kill you. But uh, I think at this point, we're kind of back over here. We've covered about half of the spawn area stuff right now. Uh, we're going to wander out in that direction next time. So I think we're going to call it right here, guys. I thank you for joining me. I thank you for watching. Uh, any comments, any feedback, it's always welcome. Please do. And I'm out of here like last year, and I'll see you next time.